We're really super excited for this class today, and I'm happy to introduce to you, if you don't know who he is, get ready, buckle your seatbelts. It's David Valenzuela of Wish Skin Health, and today's class is all about how to triple your income with your service or retail with an acne-focused business model. And David, I'm going to let you just kind of take it from here. What I am really excited about is David is going to be speaking at the Beauty Business Summit this October 3rd and 4th. We're delighted. I'm so excited to share the stage with you, David, and uh, with your topic at Summit. But today's topic is needed, and I'm really excited to learn from you today myself. So I'm, I'm so you... excited. I'm so excited. I mean, I want to do like a cartwheel right now, but I would probably knock a bunch of stuff over and knock down a bunch of equipment. So I won't do that. But I just okay. want to say thank you, Maxine. This has been a, a journey. I feel like we just had our first conversation in March, which was like literally when we met. And here we are now talking about professional, the Wish Pro part of Wish Skin Health. So I'm super excited to share this today. Yay. Okay, David. All right. So everyone can see the screen. We are good. You can see my little mug there. I have a little more gray hair now in this picture after post 2020. <laughs> Don't we all? That's showing up okay? All right, good. All right, so guys, welcome everybody. Thank you for taking the time today to uh, educate yourselves a little bit about acne and working with the acne space. Um, like Maxine said, I've been in the industry for, a, I, I was wondering, should I be 20 years, 30 years? Like when is the exact time when you say, I've just been in the industry my whole life? Because really, at this point, it's been a lifelong journey. Um, I've served in executive roles for brands of Ada, Dermalogica, Cosmetics, and Face Reality. Um, I've really spent my entire career helping thousands of skin therapists around the world find a new level of personal success. So how did this come to be? Um, in 2018, I really set out on a mission to revolutionize how we treat acne in the treatment room. And that, to me, started with understanding how people are devastated by acne. And it doesn't matter how old you are, if you're a teenager experiencing acne, or if you are in your 40s and experiencing acne, how devastating that is. So starting to research and really understand what was happening in dermatology, also new emerging technologies surrounding microbiome health, both internal and external. We now know that these are all intrinsically linked um, and what that meant. So for a, the a longest time, consumers and professionals have said to me, David, I wish the product performed like this, or I wish the product smelled like this. I wish my skin would clear. That's where the concept from the word wish came from. Wish stands for wisdom inspired skin health. So everything that we're doing and everything we're going to talk about today is all about skin health. Yay. Exciting. So the topic of this webinar is how to triple your service and retail revenue with an acne focused model. And we're going to walk through some of those steps as to how we actually do that. Um, I've actually been able to see it firsthand. So I'm going to, I'm super excited to share with you guys how that actually came to be. So an overview, we're going to talk today about the current state of the industry. What is going on in the industry today? Is it on TikTok? Is it on Instagram? Like what's going on? Um, I'm going to weave in through the presentation about Wish Skin Health and what we mean um, to the industry and to your bottom line. Also, we're going to talk about misconceptions around uh, treating acne. And this is a, it's very important to me and it's kind of near and dear to my heart that we really address misconceptions because there are a lot of them and we want to empower through obviously through education. So we're going to talk about some misconceptions some new technology and protocols and how we're going to treat acne effectively moving forward in 2022 and beyond. And it's really important to me that we talk about staying relevant in a new economy. So what does this mean? So depending on if you watched the news last night or this morning, we might be falling into a recession. We're not going into recession. We're already in a recession. We're up in arms about paying back student loan debt. Like we can't be looking at the economy all the time and going, my business is going to be impacted. We want to give you the tools to be the tools and services that your clients cannot live without, whether that is treating their acne or the products that you carry to support them in their journey. We want to make sure that you are staying relevant. And then we're going to talk about an exciting new um, education platform. So yes. this is what my expectation is. This is what I want you to go home with um, today is I want you to leave today's training with some industry leading insights. 
And it's really important to me because, you know, we kind of, we, we often underestimate what we actually bring to the table. And Maxine, obviously you and I, we, our conversations that we've had. So you guys, me and Maxine, when we get on the phone, we're like, we have a 15 minute call scheduled and then three hours and three and a half hours later, we hang up. <laughs> There's so much industry information. So, but I understand that we've both been in the industry for a long time and we have a lot of insight. So, you know, insight, depending on where you come from in this business is very, very valuable to your clients, no matter if you're treating them or somebody's walking in off the street asking for information about a product, insight is really, really important. So I want you to leave today with some really cutting edge insight to the industry. We're going to talk about an approach um, of educating yourself and your team throughout the years. Um, you know, every time somebody onboards a new team member and you're waiting for your rep to cycle through their cycle of when they can actually come back into your location, do training. And there's just a better way to do that in 2022. And I'm excited to share that with you guys today. We're going to talk a little bit about updated methodology and acne treatment and protocols. Again, staying relevant in a new economy. And everybody that's attending this webinar today is going to receive an offer that is never going to happen again. If you're watching this in replay, we'll talk about some time bound options, but this is going to be um, exciting. Okay. So what is going on in the industry today? Well, as we all have may or may not may or may not know, there's over 50 million Americans currently suffering with acne. It continues to be the number one skin condition in the United States. And so at some point, if you've been um, a skincare professional, you've had acne in your treatment room at some point or another, and you may have been super confident how to treat that, or you may are like, I, my client has stopped clearing. What else can I do to them? And the, the answer is usually to try to go more aggressive. And we know a little bit more about the how to treat the microbiome today. So we're going to talk about that. But from an opportunity standpoint, there's somewhere between 350 and 400 million, depending on the last census of who filled it out or who didn't fill it out, um, of people in the US. So 50 million people is a huge percentage of our population. Um, it's also the number eighth ranked skin condition globally. So number one in the US, we don't have great diets here, and number eight uh, globally. We're going to talk a little bit about what's going on at TikTok and Instagram. So all of us have social media. We've been Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, like what is going on in the industry? And there is, you know, there's a different trend. I'm paying attention to the space really closely. And I don't know if you guys have heard about slugging, which is basically top applying Vaseline or petroleum jelly to your skin. And, you know, I'm, I can feel you guys cringing right now, <laughs> just listening to that because if you are acne prone, they're talking a lot about trans epidermal water loss and keeping moisture in the skin. And I'm like, there's a lot of ways we can do that without putting Vaseline in our faces, but we definitely are not going to help our acne by covering it up with Vaseline while we sleep at night. We're not, our cells aren't going to shed efficiently and that's just not the right approach. So we definitely want to uh, dispel some of those myths we see. Um, we are also living in an influencer dominated um, mm. marketplace. So we've got YouTubers you know, some of them I have a lot of respect for because they are practicing uh, estheticians or they are physicians, but even some of the physicians that I watch, I'm like, that's actually not right, <laughs> but it's YouTube or it's Instagram. So how do we stay relevant with the information and being the authority in our marketplace? Um, that's for education. So we also are in a saturated marketplace. What does that mean? We have never had more access to more products ever in the history of our industry as consumers than we do right now in 2022. There are thousands of product introductions. It seems like every week a celebrity is coming out with some new product line, like it is next level confusing for the consumer. And this is where our differentiating point with education really helps us. Uh, soaring price points. So the, there's an esthetician that just helped Kim Kardashian launch her brands. I think it's S-K-K-N. And she just recommended a, a teenage edit like last week. It's $586. So, you know, there is a clientele that can afford a $586 uh, acne routine, but I think it was maybe four, four or five products. And I'm like, but that's not for everybody. That's not, no, not everybody. That's crazy. $200 acne serums. Like, come on, we need to have a better option here. Um, we've, of course, seen all of our do-it-yourself skincare myths on Instagram or TikTok. My favorite is uh, toothpaste will cure your acne um, or brushing, <laughs> brushing your nose with your toothbrush. I was like, wow, this is some next level. Um, and treatment protocols and modalities are slow to adopt or adapt to what's happening in the market. 
if you are to take a drug from concept from when you actually go to the starting concept of we're actually going to test this medication to actually getting it over the finish line, it is anywhere from 10 to 15 years and 315 million to $2.8 billion with a B to get a product over the market and actually classified as a drug. So you can see that this is not quick and we're not updating stuff like most of the modalities that are available to us today were way created way before we have a thorough understanding of microbiome health. Hmm. So let's talk about some misconceptions. Like I said earlier, I do believe that, you know, during the course of my career, that false beliefs are unfortunately a common part of our industry. And we've all been to a trade show at some point or another in our, in our <laughs> careers. And those of us that have been in the industry long enough to actually understand technologies or methodologies, when I hear a brand or somebody preaching something that is, I totally know is not true, I cringe because we, that's where we get our education from. This is where it comes from. And we have, unfortunately, a lot of unsubstantiated things that roam around in our industry. And we want to alleviate that and really make sure that we're empowered with correct information not only for you practicing in your treatment room, but also how you're addressing your clients and sort of the false beliefs that they have around different skin conditions and things. So we're going to review these four misconceptions um, about treating acne. So my favorite is I can't make money focusing on acne. And you guys, nothing could be further from the truth. So I've always said in my, in my exposure to the industry that a focused esthetician or a skin care professional is a successful esthetician. And this is so prevalent. And Maxine and I both have exposure to Aveda way, way back in the day. We were a very focused business model. It was very, very successful for its time frame. I still have clients that I opened with Aveda in the 90s that still are concept salons today in 2022. I'm like, are these people still alive? Like <laughs> it has been a minute and they're still successful in their model. So it's really what I grew up with and what I know, but I also, you know, those of us that have seen or have ever had our hair blown out at a dry bar, um, have been to a European wax center. There was a, or there is a waxing center called radiant waxing. It used to be called lunchbox wax, which I thought was hilarious. The first time I saw lunchbox <laughs> wax, and their little logo with the little girl holding her little lunch pail. And I'm like, wait a minute. Does that mean what I think it means? So they just rebranded, I think in May of this year to radiant waxing. Some people found that a little offensive. But nonetheless, they are waxers and that's all they do. It is a waxing business and a franchise. And these companies, businesses, franchise locations have become very, very successful over a focused business model, So, which is huge. And I also want to note that when you compare traditional retail in a traditional spa to when you are focusing on acne, you've got a seven to 10 times higher retail rate with an acne focused clientele. And there's a couple of reasons to why that is. One is you are doing a needs versus want retail transaction. This is not, am I going to buy this $95 eye cream because it makes me look younger? These products are going to help clear and maintain the wellness of my skin. And that is a game changer for any kind of retail. I know we've been positioning, we used to talk about Aveda, putting five products in the basket and seeing which ones the clients would choose. I'm like, no, no, no. We need to set the expectation when you bring your clients, your acne clients, and you set the expectation about what a retail setup is going to look like, your service and your retail, and you lay it out right out of the gate so that you're not having that issue. And then you watch those repurchases as your clients start to clear their skin. It's just, it's, it's awe-inspiring. So yes, you can make money focused on acne. The second misconception is acne should be treated aggressively. Now, consumers, depending on who you talk to and depending on how educated they are, they may still believe that they have to annihilate their skin to get rid of their acne. There's so much information. Those of us that lived through the 90s, back in the day of Proactive, when there was a commercial with whatever popular celebrity was happening, it was like, woo, here we are. <laughs> Jessica Simpson has acne this week. And then it's Justin Bieber and Adam Levine, like whoever was the really cool celebrity of the moment. And it was a, a business model that, you know, it's a billion dollar brand. And there's probably nobody, you won't see a client that has not been exposed to, or will say, oh, I've used proactive, or I know proactive, or is that like proactive based off of the notoriety that that brand has. Now it's been sold, I think, three times. 
um, and they sort of lost their footing with kind of the positioning. It doesn't really work anymore to bring a celebrity in because we don't care. I think they used Kylie. I always get the Kardashians confused. I think Kylie was one of their last campaigns and it was met with such vitriol and hatred and like backlash. <laughs> They're like, okay, this doesn't work anymore. And then the company was acquired again. So it's a different day and age. It's a different consumer base. This is just not the TV talking to us now. People can actually respond back. And we know that there's a better way to treat the skin without actually causing more inflammation or more irritation to the skin. Um, there's just different methodology now. So most acne sufferers are in their teens. And while this is true, acne is prevalent amongst the teenage population. We have a, a lot of adults that are experiencing acne now. And there's a percentage is about 15% of adult women are experiencing acne. But I cited a study from the clinical journey, the clinical, the journey of clinical and aesthetic dermatology, say that five times slow, <laughs> uh, with a thousand people in it. And over 50, almost 51% of those people were age 20 to 29 years old. And you've got 35% in the 30 to 39 year category, and then third, just under 14% in the 40 to 49 year old category. So acne can occur at any point in your lifetime, but this is a, it's not going away. And if you were an adult professional, when I set out to, when we started creating these products, I said, 28 year old women after they graduated from college are going to buy wish products because she's like, I'm, I've got a little bit of extra money, but I'm not going to buy drugstore, but I can't be breaking out now. I'm a professional. Like I can't show up to work with acne. This is not an option anymore. Right. Mm -hmm. So again, a traditional, I've heard this multiple times in my career and I cringe a little bit because this is really about education and understanding the difference of what we can offer in the aesthetic space versus what is offered medically. And I've heard estheticians say to me, you know, a medical approach is better than what I can offer as an aesthetic professional in my practice. And I want to cry for a minute because I'm like, you just need to be empowered about what you're offering and make sure that you can really be the authority because you don't have to go to a doctor when you have acne. There are a whole bunch of other options. And when we talk about the, the challenge that I see with primarily how we treat, whether you have acne or any other ailments, uh, diseases in the United States is we're very symptomatic in how we approach things. So Americans love to, instead of treating their diabetes, they love to take a drug for diabetes to manage their symptoms. Similar can be said, similar truths can be said about acne medications. They are often effective in the short term, but what we've seen is a vast majority of the acne suffering population ends up having a recurrence of acne as soon as the therapeutic is stopped. So if your clients are taking antibiotics or have experienced Accutane or any of these other things, what do we do with those clients? And that's really where education comes in on how you can actually treat and help your clients maintain mm -hmm. their skin. So the next few slides I'm gonna go through um, side effects which are scary as <laughs> they're a little bit ridiculous, but they're true. So most, the first stop usually for treating acne is usually some form of an antibiotic and prescription antibiotics are disproportionately prescribed in the United States by dermatologists. When you look at the entire physician population, which we still have a shortage, um, and you look at dermatologists, how their prescriptive level of antibiotics is higher in proportion than the entire physician population in the US. This tells me that, well, first of all, depending on what kind of care or what kind of practice they're working in, they don't have a lot of time. I've spoken to a lot of dermatologists that say to me, I don't like my acne clients. They complain and they come back again and they're hard to work with. And you know, they wanna throw a therapeutic at it. And as we are seeing on this slide, I don't know what a black hairy tongue is, but I don't wanna experience that from an antibiotic. I'm not interested in it. There's a whole bunch of things that can go on, including disrupting your gut health with antibiotics that I don't believe are necessary. So when we look at topically applied antibiotics, erythromycin or clindamycin are usually the go-tos. You know, they're available in topical solutions like gels, saturated pads. Um, the challenge that we see with these, again, they're effective while the therapy is actually taking place. Um, but oftentimes when they end, the acne flares back up. The scary thing about this is, is the antibiotic resistance we are seeing, and this is usually caused from over-prescribing or the long-term use of an antibiotic as a treatment modality for acne. Um, nobody is interested in that. I actually, so I used to date this physician in Atlanta, just a little side note story. 
and he his regimen was clindamycin and retin-A micro. And here I am in the professional skincare industry. His face is always red and flaky. I'm like, what are you doing to your skin? He's like, no, no, I had, I had really bad acne. I'm like, as a teenager, you had bad acne, but the, the prevalence of not wanting to change your regimen because your skin is actually clear versus come on, this is not a healthy approach. We're not, we are not meant to live on clindamycin for our whole lives. <laughs> there is a better approach. Um, another scary one actually is spironolactone, which is a hormone disruptor. And again, when I go back into talking about symptomatic treatments, yes, too much oil does exacerbate or can actually lead to acne, but we don't want to inhibit hormones to stop oil production. This is a very limited approach to actually clearing acne. And also men have developed breasts while taking this medication to it's disrupting hormone testosterone. And I'm sure that I do doesn't want to have his face clear and have breasts. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if you ask most men, that's not really what they're interested in. So again, the side effects, we're going after a symptomatic and oil production issue here, which we're not addressing the whole entire picture. So we want to make sure that we are addressing the whole cause and not just one cause. So the most popular or the, the medication that people know most about, which was why this thing is getting its own entire slide is isotretinoin, also formerly known as Accutane. And the, the level of, so for those of you that don't know, anything that is reported in a clinical trial, so when they're testing drugs and they're going through this, Accutane was actually initially developed as a cancer drug. So it's a, one of those things where like, oh, we have a side effect and it clears your skin. Fantastic, let's market it for acne. Any of the things that a patient reports in a clinical trial, whether they have a headache or they have hair loss or they've got blurry vision, it has to be reported to the consumer. That's why the pamphlets are so long. Or when you see a drug commercial and there's like 30 whole seconds of all the side effects of taking the medication, anything that is reported in that study has to be reported in the drug facts of the therapeutic at the end. So when you're seeing all of these things, I'm just looking at like an accumulation of fluid in the tissues of the eyelid. I don't know what that is or why that is caused, but nobody, nobody wants that. So again, being in a position where we have the opportunity to offer somebody a more holistic approach to clearing their skin and medication is not the only answer. Um, the problem that I see mostly with this medication is the long-term side effects. People experiencing depression or having joint pain, their hair falling out, excessive dry lips. Like there's a whole host of things that happen for months, even after you stop the medication. And in my opinion, that's just not the, the healthiest way that we can treat acne. No, for sure. And even uh, sebaceous glands shutting down like for good. For good and not ever having a, yeah. So this slide is hilarious because that's actually how I felt when I was creating this presentation and we're going <laughs> through, I'm like, holy crap, that's a lot of data. What is going on? I feel overwhelmed. There's so much information. What am I doing? Um, so oftentimes, you know, in our industry, we can feel overwhelmed. There is a lot of information available to us. And we, my passion here, you guys, with this brand and this company is to empower all of you in your own independent businesses with information. You know, knowledge is power. And we have been, you know, various ways of being educated over the years. Um, we have never had more access to education than we do right now in 2022. So as we go into this next slide, it just gives me a huge sigh of relief to just watch this slide populate the screen. <laughs> Because Wish Pro was really born out of a conversation that Maxine and I had back in March. You know, I've spent my entire career in the professional space. And I had a Wish Pro portion, a pillar of the brand, and I didn't even want to think about it until 2023. And this opportunity just really lit the fire and said, you know, we got to put these things together. This information is relevant and we need to get it out there. So this platform was actually inspired by my personal education. Um, I went to Western Governors University, which most people don't know is the most accredited university in the United States. They have regional accreditation across the US, and, which is awesome. And the platform is electronic. So I was a, have always been a working professional. I don't have the luxury of going and sitting in a classroom for five hours a day or on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 8 to 11. I needed to learn on my own time. And that inspired part of this platform and making sure that you could have information available to you on your schedule. So the moment, this is the moment your business is changing forever. It's also the moment my business is changing forever, being in the professional space. 
I've had the opportunity to watch the ups and downs of what is going on in the industry with constant trended focus. Like I call it shiny object syndrome. I will go to a trade show and I'll just watch these estheticians just go from booth to booth to booth and like shiny object, shiny object. I'm like, whoa, we don't need the shiny objects all the time. There can be some good shiny objects, but we don't need to distract ourselves from our core mission of who we are and what we're treating. So I really understood the need to give the aesthetic professional the tools they need to treat acne confidently in your treatment room. Again, that's all being empowered through education. The best part about it is um, in real time and being able to have a portal that we can update with new information. I have uh, Google searches every single day, like Google alerts on anything related to acne and skin health and medication. And every day I'm getting 12, 13, 15 different updates about what's going on in the space. So that's my job to keep that education relevant to you and providing that information to you in real time. So I set out on this, my first mission was to set out and identify how we could update treatments in home care that could be modified to support today's client. We all have had the client that's 14 years old and you can barely get him to wash his face. It's like, mom, I'm not doing that. Um, I've also talked to the moms that are like, I don't care what it costs. I'll do whatever it is, whatever I need to get my kids skin clear. I'll do it. It's not, I'm, I'm willing to spend whatever it costs. And then we've got the clients that are willing to do the 10 step regimen. So how do we negate that in between the happy meeting somewhere, giving people the opportunity to meet them where they're at and say, you know what, if you're only going to use two products, what should those two products be? And that's where your professional expertise comes into the picture. Mm -hmm. I'm curious uh, who's on the call right now. If you could type in the chat box, are you currently catering to acne clients or are you thinking about becoming like an acne clinic or having it a big part of your business model? If you could just type in the chat box, that would be great. Just so we can kind of know who's uh, doing what in the treatment room right now. Yes. I'm not going to look at the chats. I'm going to save that to the end so I don't get distracted, but you guys keep me updated as to who's typing okay, in there. I will. I will. All right. Awesome. So one of my favorite quotes is education is the passport to the future for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. Again, it's all about education, right? So we're going to take this knowledge that we have and we're going to impart it on you so that you can effectively, if you're not currently treating acne or you're thinking about treating acne or you want to expand on your acne knowledge, this is where this platform is going to live. So we talked a little bit about opportunity. Again, 85% of all people, everybody between the ages of 12 and 24 experience at least some form of acne in their lifetime. These are all potential clients for us. And what I believe or what I've seen is that teenage clients become high yielding adult clients. If you've worked with somebody to get their skin clear, they will forever refer clients to you forever and they will forever be loyal to your products the loyalty that I see with somebody on an acne regimen is next level and not even wanting to try anything else is like, it's unbelievable. So what is this platform going to look like and how are we going to help you identify some different opportunities? So we now have a solid understanding of acne and the several contributing factors of what causes acne. And we here at Wish Skin Health want to approach the skin a little bit differently. So for the first time, we're looking at professional treatments and prescriptive home care, tackling acne where it starts, which is the microbiome. So if your gut health microbiome or your topical microbiome is out of balance, a whole lot of things, including acne, can occur to you. It can also be dermatitis. It can be fungal infections. Your microbiome, we are shooting for homeostasis, which is that steady, solid state of where the body can maintain itself in its perfect harmony. And there's a very fine balance between tipping the scale where C. acne's bacteria can take over. And we really want to be microbiome supportive and really maintaining that. So the skin can ultimately keep itself acne free. Mm -hmm. So why does this protocol or why, what is this microbiome? Like, what does this actually look like? So I call it the professional roadmap. And this is for you as professionals. What are we as Wish Skin Health going to provide you? I call it the professional roadmap. So we're going to provide you with computational chemistry focused formulation. Say that 10 times slow. <laughs> what does that even mean? I'm going to talk about it on a slide. Microbiome repair, repairing the microbiome. Clients are becoming a little bit uh, more aware of the microbiome, but it is still a huge area of opportunity where we get to educate our clients um, and how to actually properly care for their microbiome, both internally and topically. 
Um, a responsive treatment approach. This is really for you in your treatment room and really responding to how your clients are responding to your treatments and the products that you prescribe to them. So are they clearing or do they need to clear a little bit faster? Is their skin inflamed? Do we need to calm down some of the inflammation? What type of acne do they have? That's your responsive treatment approach and having the ability to be fluctuating where you are in your treatment protocol. Of course, we're gonna offer prescriptive home care. Um, anybody that knows anything about acne or treating acne in your treatment room knows that your clients got have to be diligent with their treatments as well as their home care. And then having 24 access to the academy, we want you to be able to go back in here and look at any point in time and say, you know what, I'm having an issue with X and be able to find a solution in this protocol or in this portal that will actually help you overcome whatever challenges you may be having with your clients. So this slide actually, it gives me a lot of love because I've been in the formulation part of producing products for so many years, but why, it, this is exactly what it is about everything in life. Why, what is it and why is it important to me? So simply put, we take the guesswork out of formulation by using a computational approach to each product that we develop. So this is taking ingredients that are known as best in class for whatever skin issue you're trying to resolve. So if you're looking at a, a salicylic acid or a sulfur product or a benzyl peroxide, what are those? We have those, these ingredients that have been on the market for quite a while, and we want to use the best in class for the most efficient outcome for your clients in the treatment while they're laying on your treatment bed and also for their home care. So it's a fancy way of saying we take the guesswork out of the formulation by using ingredients that are going to be the most efficient and most effective. So when we formulate our products, we look at the six pillars of acne treatment. So it doesn't matter if you're using a professional product or you're using a home care product, each one of the products is gonna be specifically associated with bringing the microbiome back into balance, helping regulate oil production. I love saying follicular epidermal hypoperfilation, <laughs> to say that 15 times, which is the excessive cell shedding for an acne client people with acne can shed up to five times faster than a healthy skin condition. So you've got to address that. Also, you want to calm inflammation in the skin for an inflamed acne type. We also want to address pigmentation and offer nutrition and dietary guidance. So all of these pillars, so to speak, are those things that are definitely necessary when you're treating the root cause of why acne is happening. We're not just going after oil control. Yes, that's one aspect of it, but we also need to address the hypercell shedding. And we need to address the bacteria issue by bringing the microbiome back into balance. And if the skin is inflamed, we want to address that as well. Mm -hmm. So it gives me, I get so excited to see all these products because a lot of this imagery we created just specifically for this webinar. And I can tell you that every single one of those products that you see on the screen has had so much love and time and torment and money put into them. It's phenomenal, starting with Phytoactive Clearing Serum, which is our first serum that we launched. It was really important for me to come out of the gate, swing with a multi-functional formulation as we're living in a, a time frame where, you know, like brands like The Ordinary that have single ingredient focus, I wanted to create a serum that had, you know, a lot of multifunctional attributes to it. So you'll see on here to the right, we've, we're talking about multifunctional actives. Salicylic acid, of course, is going to address multiple different things, cell shedding, oil production, um, pigmentation in the skin, helping evening skin tone. We've got multifunctional actives uh, situated throughout each one of the formulations. So here's where become, do you want to, I'm sorry, you have a question, Maxine? Someone oh, no, 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 sorry. I was okay. just leaning in because I'm, I'm <coughs> sucked in. I'm You're like, like, let's look. I am becoming an acne authority. I love this so much because there's some of the comments have been great, Dave. Not just, I just want you to get excited about like just what some people are saying. Like, yes, like one is uh, Adrian uses face reality. Uh, Violet's starting to do more with clients, teen daughters and their friends. Elizabeth's like, I do have some acne clients and her assistant's going to be specializing in acne. Nay. And, and uh, Saretta is uh, Nisha's natural organic holistic skin care, but she also roughly 40% are acne clients. Wow. And uh, Rhoda having a few teens and a few young adults to help, help um, with acne and sensitivity issues. 
Um, but she hasn't focused on this area. But the question is, are you after today? And right. Cora, I don't have acne clients currently, but this is something I want to niche to, speaking to my heart and David's heart because yes. we're niching. Uh, Carla, and I'm having more acne uh, uh, issues with clients as well. So a lot of people are chiming in, pretty much supporting the data of how, how it's on the rise. And it's not going- I anywhere. love it. And you know, I wouldn't have created- spend all of this time, effort, energy, money, know how, wherewithal, all of this, if I didn't see the opportunity in giving confidence back to a client, it mm -hmm. is game changing to change. You're changing their skin. You're changing their life. You're changing their, their, out, the trajectory of their life. Like I have just, I've witnessed this so many times. So I love all those comments, you guys, thank you for commenting. So how are we going to become the acne authority? And I, I use the word authority a lot because I really want to impress upon you about being the authority in your treatment room. So there's so much noise with consumers. And when a client comes in and they're asking you questions, I want you to confidently be able to respond to a customer with whatever they're asking. If they saw they're asking about a technology, um, of course, we can always do research and get back to somebody, but you having the majority of the information up front is really, really impactful. So Again, going back to that, those medication slides we were talking about earlier, we develop our products and our treatment protocols to really treat the root cause of why acne is occurring. So we're not, this isn't about a symptomatic treatment but that you're gonna eventually stop and then go off. There is no quote unquote cure for acne. We can maintain our skin. Obviously it's gonna take some effort between you and your client um, to maintain their skin. We can control it. We don't quote unquote cure it. So this is a maintenance item, but you know, your clients setting an expectation when you see somebody come in your room and they are an acting grade three or four with really telling them, you know what, it's probably going to take us 90 days to up to six months to get your skin clear. Mm -hmm. So, and they're not expecting that I'm going to clear overnight when I start using these products, that is an unrealistic expectation. Mm -hmm. So just a couple ideas, just to give you a little bit of overview, a couple different products. Um, a super calming cleanser. I love it. Super calming cleanser, right? Everything is like super clients are like, I want ultra super magnetic. Every time Apple launches a new product, it's ultra super power turbo. <laughs> it's like next level, like what's going on. So we definitely want to, with our cleansers, which is a foundation of obviously a clearing ritual, a home care ritual, we want to offer some things that are obviously multifunctional. So taking pillars one, two, and three, and really calming down the inflammation in the skin, regulating sebum production, evening out skin tone, really help with preventing post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. Each one of the products in the lineup are going to address multiple issues. And it, it's up to you to prescribe which is going to be the best fit um, for that client and where they are at in their stage of clearing. So multifunctional formulation. So we've got two products on the screen, which again, I love this because these have been, these labels and these logos and all of this has been created new. The formulations have been worked on for a long time, but actually getting them in stable packaging, which I don't know if you guys are noticing, but all the packaging that we use is contamination free. So you're never going to see me produce anything that we're sticking our fingers in and recontaminating, especially in the acne space, when you're trying to control bacteria, we're just, we're not doing that. So I use airless pumps whenever possible. Um, on the screen, you're seeing two uh, multifunctional serums. One is called Clarify. This is a 3% BPO emulsion. You'll notice that it's also available in five and 10%. <clears throat> Excuse me, anything available in the 5% in Clarify are prescriptive by you only. So those are in clinic, in treatment, those are only available to you in the treatment room to prescribe to your clients. The same thing with Mandelica. This is an L-Mandelic acid. The 10 and 15% are for you in your treatment rooms to prescribe to those clients that maybe need a little bit more help in their regimen. Mm -hmm. Phytoactive clearing serum. I love her. She was my initial serum. And again, packing 21 actives. That's why she's in a glass bottle. I call my products girls, by the way. So if you hear me talking to them, I talk about them like they're my kids. All the products are girls. So if I, you hear me referring to them as she, that's why. Um, they're all my kids. Uh, this is a probiotic serum. And so when we started as a, you know, 
really working with microbiome health and really how do we understand how to support that, we need products that support the microbiome. So when you get your clients on the path to clear and they're under 10 lesions per month, that's where they can really graduate into phytoactive clearing serum. And this is going to help maintain their clear skin. So you've got uh, PHAs in here, which is a polyhydroxy acid, super, super gentle. You've got sebum regulators. You've got PIH suppression. You've got lactobacillus ferment to really help with the probiotic, building the proper healthy bacteria on the skin. It's just a powerhouse, super easy to use. No synthetic fragrance, of course. You know, back to our Aveda days, we can't have any synthetic fragrance. And I just want to share with you guys a couple of the reviews that we get because it's really important, you know, when you're going through the process of like going through and even when the client types in photoactive clearing serum, because it probably autocorrected on their screen, it's really important that we have really positive reviews and people are experiencing positive results. We can't do anything if we're not getting feedback from our clients. Um, and, you know, our, you are my clients essentially as estheticians. So it's important. Ooh, I love testing. that one, the Holy Grail. Sorry to interrupt, but that I was mean, the-, the Holy Grail. I'm like, I need to, I feel like I should send that client a free product for putting <laughs> the Holy Grail. Like, that's amazing to me. We should blow that up more. Um, a couple moisturizers, of course, you know, SPF. We got to have SPF in every skincare regimen. It's not an option. And anytime you're using any kind of a BPO or you're doing anything to mitigate bacteria on the skin, you really need to infuse it with antioxidants. So, any of your daytime treatments, your SPF, your moisturizers are going to be heavily antioxidant focused. And, you know, I love that. I love a 5% niacinamide complex. It's such a universal, powerful ingredient to get hydration back in the skin, help regulate sebum, suppress, you know, breakouts and acne. It's just such a great functional ingredient. And then of course, infusing a, a bunch of antioxidants in our sunscreen. We should note that it is post peel safe. We've tested this really aggressively with multi-layer peels going on here to see if there's any sensation on the skin so that you don't have a client catch on fire when you're putting sunscreen on them in the treatment room. We're not interested in that. So again, I love, I had to put a review in here because this review actually is a a 30 year esthetician who's loving the product for herself and her son. And I absolutely, I live for it. Supportive products here. Um, This is actually, you'll see C21 on the screen. I'm gonna talk about that in the next slide. If you are attending Beauty Business Summit, you may actually be one of the first people on the planet to get exposed to this product. Um, It's not released yet. So this is super exciting. I'm super excited to talk about it, but we want to provide formulation that clients are asking questions about. And, you know, one of the top search terms is hyaluronic acid and hyaluronic acid has been around for a long time, but we haven't really seen formulation with multi-dimensional, multi-weighted hyaluronic acid to really go into different depths of the skin and C21 I got to just go to the next slide so I can tell you a little bit about it. It's not even launched yet, but this is a, there's three versions of vitamin C in here, L-glutathione, colloidal gold, which actually stabilizes the vitamin C. So it's not oxidizing. It's got seven different molecular weights of vitamin C. Vitamin C can be crucial in helping the skin heal from acne. So again, it's a super antioxidant defense, great firming attributes to it. A lot of hydration associated with this product. I'm, we've been testing it for over a year, so I'm excited to get it out to the gate. Like, let's go. Did we just do a swag bag reveal, by the way, on that? Um, maybe that's one of the swag, maybe Ooh. just a little insight. If you guys are, I mean, I'm super excited to share it. I just want to start talking about it because it's been in the background for so long in, you know, it takes a long time to actually get things over the finish line into awesome. formulation. So awesome. So we can't obviously leave the webinar without talking about our professional peels. This is um, not an exhaustive list of everything that we're going to have for the back bar. So we know that professionally, when you're treating somebody professional exfoliation, um, you know, there's different ways to do that. I like to call them restorative peels because we are restoring the balance back into the skin, but we haven't really talked about, you know, microbiome health when we're doing exfoliation or added those ingredients that really we don't, we don't want lipid peroxidation, which is essentially a cell death. We don't want that. We want to encourage healthy cell turnover and renewal. So glycolic, salicylic, lactic, these things are common to us in exfoliation in different combinations with some really powerful antioxidants. So we can give a really professional exfoliation, but we're not blowing the face up. You know, for, I would say back, it's been over a decade since I was experienced of what chirality meant in skincare. 
And I've had the opportunity to literally split my face in different sections and try different acids, different acids in a chiral version and a non-chiral version. And my skin is highly reactive. So seeing my face just blow up super inflamed with the same ingredient versus putting the chiral version of it on the other side and not having any redness in my skin, it's just next level chemistry. And you know what your clients will benefit from it in your treatment room. Mm -hmm. So I threw this slide in here because I love all the ingredient imagery there in any one of our products, there could be any variation of these ingredients in there. And it's, you know, we're inspired by nature. There's so many healing attributes to plants. They're incorporated into every formulation we produce. Clients resonate with them. Like we all resonate with mother nature. Like we've got to include some of this. So the imagery is so beautiful. It gives us an opportunity to really showcase Oops, I went, I skipped ahead real too quick. So continuing education <laughs> is the single most important thing you can do for yourself and your clients. We want to empower your practice, give you the confidence and give the confidence back to your clients that they deserve. We want you to win your market. We've got adaptive solutions. Of course, that's with Acne Pro certification. And Steven, my business partner, likes to say light speed masterclass in acne. He's learned more about acne than he ever wanted to know. <laughs> I love how you said restorative peels. Like that is like, can we just like hang on that? That is amazing, David. There's just not a lot of talk about that. I mean, it's really restoring the skin back to its optimal healthy state. Right. And you know, with, there's a whole bunch that I'm going to talk about on the portal about adversity memetics and it's controlled wounding, which us, some of us know about when we talk about peels. But yeah. keeping the skin in an inflamed state is not good for you. It's not good for your skin and it can actually accelerate a whole bunch of other things. So we want to focus on as much anti-inflammatory and keeping the skin calm, why we're exfoliating it, why we're clearing it, all that fun stuff. So this is a, a super funny slide because Maxine and I talked about, I got to sing with Madonna at one point and we sang like a prayer together, which is hilarious because somebody actually videoed it and took a picture of me doing it. And I'm like, this is some next level stuff, but Madonna has been quoted as saying, people need to be patient. I'm not, <laughs> which is so true because you know what? I want information when I want it. And when I started in this industry back in the day, just think about that for a minute. We didn't have Google. There was no Google searching anything. You literally had to like get it in the mail, read it in an encyclopedia, which makes me feel so old because now you're like, we have access to information in real time. That's what I wanted this platform to be. So in the next few slides, I'm just going to go over a little bit about what the portal is going to look like. It's continually getting updated, but these are some of the things that you'll learn during certification. Some of this, depending on where you went to school, could be a little bit of review. When I've been teaching in, in an aesthetic school anywhere in the U.S., depending on if you're in a 300-hour program, 1,200-hour program, or if you're in one of the states like Utah that offer master aesthetics program, which I absolutely live for, I'm like, this is what needs to be happening across the country. Um, I've had instructors say to me, we just don't have time, David. We can't go on any more depth. We don't have time. We really have to get people through passing state board. And I've had instructors say, if anybody's got higher than an active grade one, we refer them to a dermatologist. And I'm like, no, you've got an opportunity here. But I understand, depending on the state you live in, you may or may not have been exposed to some of these topics. But we're going to go in depth in the portal here. <clears throat> anatomy and histology of the skin, the pathology of acne, identifying lesion types and grades so you can really identify what your treatment protocol is going to look like. <clears throat> Excuse me and spell that out Get for you. Drink of water. Do you want to drink a water? Because I'll say a couple of words about like this certification class. And I think that um, going through those stages that can be intimidating for an esthetician that has been taught, oh, if you get grade one, you know, refer and this and that. So with your course, do you feel like the estheticians will have what they need to almost treat any, whoa, I'm excited. It's almost so I, the way that I look at this is that it is okay. so much relevant information yeah. for what is happening in your client, in your treatment room today. So right. being able to really efficiently assess, is this an inflamed or non-inflamed acne type? Because yeah. your treatment path and how you treat that is going to be different. Is this, what grade of acne is this? Like, where do I want to put them in this protocol? We are going to start them, give them a place to start. You know, not everybody responds immediately to a BPO treatment. 
But when you throw in that combination of a hydroxy acid or a pigment just suppressor, you can get different results at different times. So we want to give you all the information so that you can intelligently make a protocol decision out of the gate and effectively recommend the correct client, the correct products and protocols for how often you need to see this client, how often should they be being treated, how often do they need appeal, how many extractions do they need, all, I like to say without blowing up their face, we don't, we try to keep that calm to minimum, but also giving you sort of a, not sort of, really giving you a roadmap for what it actually looks like when they have, when you've got them on your treatment table, how many minutes am I going to expend doing extractions? I could spend all 30 minutes doing extractions here. Well, you've got a whole bunch of other things you need to do in this treatment. We want to make sure that you make that assessment out of the gate and you've got all of the empowerment through the information to do so. And, you know, there's a lot of nutrition and supplements and medications and skincare. Comedogenic ingredients gets me all riled up because, you know, that test was done on a bunny back in the 70s and people freak out. And I'm like, you know what? We need to be empowered on how to intelligently talk about comedogenesis and what that actually means for formulation. You know, we're not testing on animals. We're testing on our own faces. And generally, we're not producing products that are going to clog pores. We're not doing that. I refer to product knowledge as product intelligence, making you really super intelligent about products. And even more importantly is being able to understand the method of action. So we know we can talk about vitamin C all day or alpha hydroxy acids. Like we, we get it on the surface. What is the method of action? What actually is happening when you apply benzyl peroxide to the skin? This is really, really imperative in making you the authority with your clients and actually being able to explain what is going to happen, how we're actually going to deliver oxygen into that follicle to really mitigate that bacteria. Um, prescriptive home care. And I love this. So there's going to be more things added to this by the time it launches in November, but avoiding aesthetic burnout. How are we taking care of ourselves as aesthetic professionals? Are we making sure that our posture is correct? How's our treatment table set up? Like all of these things that we need to take care of ourselves so that we don't burn out and essentially say, I don't want to do this anymore. Like we have a high rate of burnout in our industry and we just need to be taught how to effectively take care of ourselves as well. Yeah. So this next slide here is just an overview. It's a little bit of a, I call it the learning journey. This could be week one, week two, it could be days. I don't think you're going to do this in seven hours. I wouldn't try to do it in seven hours. Um, but it's just a little bit of a path of what it could look like for how you're going to educate yourself and really identifying these three things in week one. I'm going to review these things in week two. The really cool part about this and vaccine was helpful in actually helping me flush out which profile was going to, which platform was going to work best for us is it's interactive. You're going to get a quiz after each section. So you're not going to go through a huge amount of information. And then we're going to ask you questions like, wait, what did that mean? No, you're going to get little sound bites of information, then a little quiz. Did I just retain what that is? Or do I need to go back and look at that again? So all of this leading up to, of course, reviewing your material and taking your assessment and getting that Wish Pro certification that's going to give you this next level business. So all of that being said, to get to this next win-win slide, again, I always say this, if it's not a win for me and a win for the client, it doesn't work. Same thing for you. It has got to be a win-win situation. So when we were talking about what is our offer going to be partnering with Beauty Biz Summit, I can tell you for those lucky, those that are on this webinar right now, we are never going to offer this again. This is a pre-launch offer. The price is going to change. We are not going to offer retail setup in the future. It's going to be, the platform is going to speak for itself. So as a gift, because we are in pre-launch mode, we are going to offer 24-7. You're going to have access to the Academy for you and your team. Um, of course, having access to professional and retail products, you're going to get into groups with other estheticians, you know, you like to talk to each other and talk about how can we help each other really, I've got this client in, let's talk to each other and help each other out. Business building support, you know, social media stuff, you guys, when we're doing things with a brand, it changes by the week. Um, you can get put in acne jail for saying the word acne, for saying the word bacteria, you can have your platform shut down. So this is things that I want to mitigate as a brand um, to help you and your business, um, how to actually position before and afters, you know, Instagram for the longest time was like, no, you cannot do a sponsored post with a before and after picture because the weight loss industry was so dramatic was showing, I lost 60 pounds in seven days. And then everyone's clicking through it and buying whatever crap product. 
So they put a kibosh, which actually hurt the rest of us in the industry. You can't even do before and afters with teeth whitening. It's very restrictive. So we want to offer that brand building support to give you the opportunity to just go and do your treatments and not have to think about some of these other things. Direct access to me and all of our panel of people that we use. Um, we've got some veteran estheticians that we work with that actually are testing our products. We want you to have access. If you have a question, a difficulty, do it. With this setup, you're getting $500 at wholesale of retail product. So just with that alone, you've covered your investment <laughs> in this situation. And we're as we continue to scale, we will eventually be offering brand referrals based on where you live and your zip code. So as a brand with a following, it gives us the opportunity to really give you guys more support. And I'm going to show you this slide again. So we'll just keep going. We've got a couple more slides. And if you have any questions, we're going to do that. I love a good testimonial. This is Katarina. We work with her locally at Afterglow Skin Studio. She herself had acne. And I just, it resonates with me so powerfully about the power of emotion in our industry. And we undercut the value of what we actually provide. But this testimonial says everything to me. I remember so clearly the feeling of wanting to roll out of bed and run errands without having to cover up my skin with foundation. I remember having to apply concealer just to be comfortable in my own home. I remember the tears and trying everything but the kitchen sink to try and clear my acne. It brings me great joy to be able to help others achieve the joy of rolling out of bed and being happy with what they see in the mirror. It's more than just products and treatments. Teaching ourselves that we are enough and that we are so much more than what we see in the mirror is important, it's an important step when, take, when working to heal your skin. I love that, Katerina. Thank you so much for letting me use that quote. So super impactful. This next slide, it just gives you a little idea of what focusing on. So when we talk about tripling your service retail trip or tripling your service revenue or tripling your retail revenue, what does that actually look like? Um, we did a quick little comparison here based on month one, month, month three, and month six of what it looks like focusing on acne clients. So there is a little variation of where you guys are all charging in your markets based on where you live. There's a little variation in what a consumer is willing to spend on products. So there is variation in this graph, but it is highly profitable that you are going to achieve next level success focusing on acne. I have never seen anything in my career. When we look at the, with Aveda, with Dermalogic, with cosmetics, with face reality, each one of those brands, when we focused on something, it was exponentially more successful. And acne, being able to treat acne in your treatment room and have those loyal clients added to your customer base, it is next level. So this webinar also, guys, I forgot to say at the very beginning, it is going to be available for a review. If I've clicked on a slide too quickly and you're like, wait, what did you just say? You'll be able to watch it again. So Wish has created a comprehensive approach to treating and clearing acne. This is from our dermatologist friend, Will Hanghold, who's the founder of Hanghold Dermatology. It's actually based in Pensacola. Um, I think he's got six or seven locations. It is really important to me that we have all aspects of treating this. And I want to have a lot of eyes on something before we actually produce it and make sure that we can take this to the next level and making sure that we're giving you guys the best opportunity that you can. So that your products have been within uh, all of his six locations? So we actually test our formulation. Um, we've wow. used dermatologists to test our products and protocols. Mm -hmm. We haven't released anything, Maxine. Um, all of the stuff that we have shipped out before has not been professionally available. So when we're testing a peel or we're testing the BPO emulsion or the Mandelics, we're getting it on a whole bunch of faces, both in uh, aesthetic clinics, as well yeah. as in a physician area, just to say, you know what, look, there's some speed here and I can offer my clients, you know, physicians might want to offer alternatives too. Mm -hmm. They don't make money off prescriptions. We know this, right? So right. a lot of these guys have medi spas now attached to their, their businesses and they can offer a healthy alternative to getting their, their people over to their aesthetic department and clearing their skin without medication. Nice. So yes, this, the, the slow answer is yes. Um, choosing success as an acne expert. These are all of the things that I feel you will be, you know, how, how we serve you as a brand. And we are an independent business. We are not L'Oreal. We are not Estee Lauder. You can call me on the phone at any point in time. I'll be right here to answer your questions. Your success is our success. We want to provide you with industry-leading education, state-of-the-art formulation. We want to help you with your business model and making it a confidence-boosted model. Having a sustainable model with the largest opportunity in our industry. 
you can't argue with number one. It is the number one opportunity in our industry is treating acne. Um, supported by industry veterans and of course, inspired learning products and services. And as Maxine, I'm sure any of you that have worked with Maxine, she talks about a focused model. It is very imperative to us that everything that we do is around focus. And we are not, I'm not, I know Stephanie's on, on the panel where I'm going to meet her. I can't wait to meet her in Florida, but she, you know, she's focused on waxing. Yep. I have no plans to develop waxing products. That's not in my wheelhouse. That's not what I do. We are focused on treating and clearing acne. Yay. I love it. So I'm going to throw that slide up there again, you guys, if you have any questions that you want us to answer, we're happy to do that. One very, very important thing I want to note when you go to the website, you're going to, you're going to see, it's like, wait a minute, that's not what he said. That's not the price point that he talked about. You have to use the code WISHPRO22 in order to get that offer. It will actually take you to the professional page and that will give you the opportunity to purchase the certification. Now, this is a pre-launch. The certification is going to go live in November. Actually, when we get home from Summit, we're saying November, it'll be our soft launch. It'll be available to you. Once you pass your certification, your initial retail setup will ship to you. And then any professional products that you want to add to that order, you'll have the option to do so at that time frame. So, so if there's any, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, I think it's important to know the value of the true certification is $14.95. Absolutely. And you know what? I, so you're, when, you're, that's when, huge. when you're thinking about Maxine, all of our knowledge and all of the research and, you know, what is your information? How much is your knowledge worth? When mm -hmm. you take 20 plus years of industry knowledge and data and you put it all into one course, like what is that worth? I want it to be accessible to a lot of people. I don't want it to be like hindering, like, wow, I have to save for nine months in order to buy that. And this offer, like I said, we're not going to duplicate this. This is really going to be out of the gate. Um, the price is definitely going to change. And the retail setup is definitely not going to happen post launch. Well, it's not what I love. It's not, I mean, you have incredible knowledge, but you're helping estheticians mm -hmm. do, you know, you're helping them put this, all of this knowledge into motion. I loved the, the page with everything that they're going to get in these. So they're all individual classes. So ah. how long would you say it would take like the average esthetician? I mean, I, I take my time learning. Yeah. Um, to, to go through and actually uh, complete the certification, if you were to guess. So it's this is a varying question, because depending yeah. on how much information we put in there, there's going to be the certification portion, which is going to be right now, there's about 45 plus hours of instruction in that. Okay. So based on how you learn and how quickly you're able to retain information and go through the, the quizzes and things, you could do it if you wanted to spend nothing but an entire week. I don't recommend that. I, I know that everyone's busy and working. Um, it's really going to be based off of your level of knowledge and how quickly you can move through the information and feel comfortable with it. Because it's it, this is not just about passing the certification for the sake of getting, which, by the way, my business partner designed this really beautiful certification that you're going to hang on your wall. It's stunning. Um, that's part of it. You're, you definitely want to get to that at the end. But we want to make sure that you feel confident and actually that you walk out of this training and you're like electronically and understand I've got everything that I need to really be an empowered acne practitioner. And maybe I didn't have that. So the, the speed as we start getting into it, Maxine, and we launch it, we'll have some averages for how quickly people are going through the program, but it's going to be really at your own pace. Okay. And then anything that you add to this to the academy they're still going to have access to if they get in at this pre-launch so, so the, it, it's important to me that it's not static and then when we have new information that we're putting stuff in there and we can host webinars in there and we can put links in there to other things that we are continually keeping it it's alive it's like a living thing right i dropped the link in the chat box so it's wish skin health.com slash pages slash skin dash health slash or dash professional. <laughs> and then the uh, code you're going to use is wish pro 22 to get that 995. And David, just, you know, is there anything on the market right now, as far as an acne certification course that even compares or how does yours differentiate? 
Well, you know what people have asked me, you obviously were the CEO of Face Reality. So I can't say that that didn't influence some of this because of course, you know, I've learned as long as, as I've gone through my different brands and like what that actually means. I will tell you that we have created a really comprehensive approach, including the microbiome and what that actually means and an understanding of that, as opposed to, you know, it was P. acne's bacteria, you know, four or five years ago, and then it transitioned to C. acne's bacteria, like, wait, what happened? The bacteria shifted, what's going on? What does that even mean? So it is just as important for me to have a therapist understand what is actually happening to the skin as it is in developing really impactful products. I believe that that gives you the most empowering. So to answer your question, I don't know if there's anybody out the, else out there that's really talking about microbiome health. I know there are other platforms out there that train people. Um, we've gone really above and beyond and really making this uh, super, super impactful with putting a lot of business building into it as well. Well, you that's your wheelhouse, you know. 100%, yes, it is my wheelhouse. And it's been... You know, I started in 1995, which is crazy because I'm only 28 years old, guys. So how is that even possible? <laughs> um, I've seen a lot of things. And, you know, this information for me is really taking what works, um, both in the treatment room and from a technology and a development standpoint, and partnering them all together. So I'm not interested in creating products or uh, modalities or protocols that are not going to ultimately get you the results that you need in your treatment room. We want those clients coming back. We want it to be effective. We want to give those people their confidence back. And we got to have effective measures in order to do that. So who on the call is looking for uh, acne treatment, not just protocols, but just education of what this academy is offering? Who's Who's been like chomping at the bit for this type of education because I don't I mean the microbiome is is you're right it's this is the new age right absolutely inside health and you know we've got of course there's always product development happening and it sounds disgusting but I've uh, reviewed a lot of poop studies <laughs> and there is definitely a difference in the gut health microbiome of somebody with acne versus a healthy skin individual and we're looking at products that can support that internally as well. So this is not just a static, it's an ever evolving, ever changing landscape. And as the information becomes available to me and it's substantiated, we want to make those products and that information available to you guys as well. So I'm excited to have you guys along for the journey. I love it. Okay. So um, David, can we type in, how do, how do people get a hold of you? If, can I, can I type that in? Absolutely. So on the, the very last slide here, if you have a question that we're not going to answer here in the webinar or that we can't answer, it's just email us at support at wishskinhealth.com. Drops right into my inbox. Um, if you want more information, you can go to wishpro.us or wishskinhealth.com. There's a professional tab up at the top of the homepage. And of course, our social media channels are at Wish Skin Health. Um, all things related to Wish Skin Health all the time. It's all we do here. <laughs> so who's inspired to take a deeper dive into the acne niche, into the acne business model. If you could type in the chat box, I'm just, I'm very, I'm always curious. Like if this is like, put you over the edge, like where Carla's like, I am definitely, that's fantastic. I know there was a couple people that uh, typed in earlier. I would love to take a deeper dive. Cora says, I think that's fantastic because obviously, and it's my passion too, to see estheticians succeed. But I think all in all, what we really want is we love helping people. And uh, Rhoda says, very inspired and love the information so far. David, you're is so incredibly knowledgeable. I We've had our own private conversations, so it was nice. That's why I was like leaning in, look, listening. So <laughs> it was really awesome to kind of be a student as well and just kind of listen and learn from you. And I know this is just the tip of the iceberg. And I'm very excited for those estheticians who are ready to take the leap and do uh, an acne focused business model to help even more people in your community of all ages as you clearly exposed and then yes. also have the educational platform i mean 995 is like and that's like lifetime little access to it you get assuming... lifetime access to it absolutely oh so my yeah gosh. we will so the other part about it that i get so excited talking about those people that are in obviously are going to have the very beginnings to when we're actually planning products and yep. actually get to test products. Um, we'll Ooh. use the network to send product samples out to you so people can try them. 
and then um, also have the opportunity to do trainings for us in the future. Um, being an infield trainer, we want to give um, the aesthetic professional the opportunity to grow in their career. So if you are an awesome acne therapist and you're like, I would love to do trainings for you, I would love to do that. There's going to be those things in the in the portal as well. So it's just it's never ending. I have a million ideas and uh, executing them is the whole, you know, it's time, 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 time. I don't know. You spoke you spoke to me as an esthetician, but just saying that including estheticians in this growth process of being able to test products. Hello. Who would like to be involved in that? (laughs) Because I I think we've always craved to be a part of that process. And we so you're really saying to to estheticians, this is like an opportunity for ground level. Um, it absolutely. I mean, we, there's nothing that we're putting into production right now that we know doesn't produce amazing results, like yeah. hands down hundred percent. Like I'm, I want to tell everybody anytime, once you start focusing on acne, all you see around you is people have acne everywhere. And I want to tell the waitress and the person at Starbucks, like everywhere. I'm like, you guys need to get on these products. It is a, it's never ending. It's never it's- ending. Yay. So $9.95 for your acne certification and you get $500 in retail setup. That is incredibly generous. Thank you so much, David. This has been, I've learned so much myself. I could tell you have even more in your brain. So (laughs) we could have a three hour webinar, but we don't need to do that today. We got to get back to our normal lives, but yeah. Thank you. Thank you. The recording will be up and um, people have a way to get in touch with you. I'll include that in the, in the uh, follow-up email as well. Absolutely. So thank you guys for those of you that attended or you're watching this in the future. I also want to give a shout out to our consumer panel, all the consumers that have tried products, our professional panel, our physicians, our estheticians. My business partner, Steven is a huge reason why all this, this webinar worked today. So special thank you to everybody that supports this mission as well. All right, David, we will see you at the Beauty Business Summit in October. Can't wait. Can't wait. Bye for now. Bye, guys.